Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video, and continue on, uh, continuing on with the Halloween uh, movie review uh, thing going on, and shout out to Abby Miller, who, uh, yeah, she did help suggest this, um, and yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I think that works. Halloween uh, movie review thing that's going on, you know, so continuing on with that. Um, and so now, yes, you read the title, now gonna be reviewing... Uh, the Disney, well, yeah, it's basically a Disney TV movie, and it was on the wonderful world of Disney, you know, like in the 90s. Uh, I'm reviewing Tower of Terror. That's right, Tower of Terror. 1997, just, yeah. I love it! I love Tower of Terror. It's really good, and I did read this that, you know, like, Disney took that film as for inspiration for making, like, you know, theatrical movies, you know, you know, based off of some of their rides, like, of course... Pirates of the Caribbean, for one thing, Country Bear Jamboree, The Haunted Mansion, and even uh, Mission to Mars, which was, you know, Mission Space, you know. And Gary, what's his face, you know? He, from the movie, and yet he's in the attraction. He was, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's still in the attraction, even though, like, Mission Space had its update, but I can't remember. Even some of the props from Mission to Mars is in the attraction, which is really cool. I never knew that, but, oh well, it's one of those times. I just, well, really? Just, <laughs> but anyways... Um, so yeah, Tower of Terror, I think, is really good. Like, the cast is really good. You know, everything that's going on is, is, is fantastic. The music, everything, just, you know. Um, of course, the opening is really cool, because, you know, it opens, like, in the 1930s, and, um, you know, we see, because, and that music playing, sing, 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 that's what's titled, you know, dun, 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 I love that jazz music. It's really good. I'm sure you guys heard it, too. I've heard it before. Like, I've heard, like, Monsters, Inc. has had that music before in some of their trailers. I re remember that, especially, like, with the, the trailers for when it, when it came out in 3D, you know, in 2012. I remember that. So, um, yeah, in the opening, we see, because our main, we see the characters, you know, because we, um, we see, uh, yeah, we see Clary, uh, I think that's it, uh, Gilbert, Sally, uh, Shine, and, um, yeah, even, uh, the bellhop, Dewey, he's there as well, and, uh, Sally's, uh, aunt, um, I can't, I forget her name, but, you know, um, how you pronounce it, but, yeah, so, like, they're on, and even, like, in the attraction, you know, because of the pre-show, we clearly see, and yet, because it's, like, I think on Halloween evening and such, and a storm coming in, and, of course, the, 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 uh, how many floors, I forget, all of a sudden. Is it up to, um, uh, room 11 or something? I guess. I can't remember. I can't remember right now. I mean, I've watched that before many times, but now all of a sudden I can't remember. <laughs> but bear with me. So, um, you know, um, when it's, you know, because it stops and the lightning strikes and they get killed and yet comes to, to, fades to white and such. And then we cut, we come to, of course... There are, you know, basically our main characters. We come to Buzzy and his, her, his, uh, his nephew, uh, uh, Anna. So, you know, so, um, yeah. And also, uh, with Anna's mom, I forget her name, but, you know, uh, even with, uh, Buzzy, you know, he works for, like, I guess, he works at, like, a news coverage or something like that, story, whatever. And we see our other, we see, we see, uh, Jill, uh, Jill Perry, you know, and, like, Buzzy coming up with these ideas and telling them to Jill and such, and we see uh somebody like he he brought like like somebody went and somebody got into Buzzy's apartment and that was uh somebody by the name you know somebody by the name of Abigail and um and Abigail like tells Buzzy about this new like something you know the story of like because of the Hollywood Tower Hotel and like uh, about Sally Sunshine, well yeah Sunshine I know that word I know. Not just Shine, but Sunshine was in there, too, I'm pretty sure. Um, and, like, telling her, you know, when she was young, like, she saw, like, Sally's aunt, like, she was basically a witch, you know? That's what we think at first. But, um, of course, you know, Buzzy, like, later he goes in and he, he goes and investigates in the, in the tower. And that's where we come to, of course, uh, Chris, o Chris Q. Todd, or short for, or Q for short, 
played by Michael McShane. He's so good in this. And Mick, Michael McShane, he's a fantastic and lovable actor, you know. Of course, also best known for like say when he was at, he was in the Richie Rich film, you know, with Macaulay Culkin as that as that inventor, you know, and he also voiced uh uh, tuck and roll in A Bug's Life, you know, you're fired, you're fired, you know, I could do a decent impression of them, so, you know, um, so, yeah, and, like, you know, and with Q, because he's, like, uh, the grandson of, uh, Dewey Todd, you know, the bellhop, and, and his, and he tells, uh, Buzzy, like, you know, his, I think his, yeah, great-grandfather built, you know, built the tower and such, you know, uh, the how the Hollywood, the Hollywood Tower Hotel, and so with Buzzy, like even like Buzzy turns to Q and like you're not coming in or something like that, you know, and like he says, "Are you kidding? This place is haunted," you know, um, and so he goes in and like looks around and a few few things like you know I guess a little bit freak him out, you know, if you get what I'm saying, and um, you know even when he walks off, uh, Sally's aunt pops out of a mirror, you know, and um, yeah, and so. Also, we get the appearance of, um, supposedly, because this, this, out of nowhere, this, like, actress or something that comes in and, like, um, you know, offers to help out Buzzy and such, I guess, for photographing or something like that. Even gets, uh, even gets his nephew, um, Anna, like, dressing up as Sally Sunshine, you know. Um, <laughs> and even, like, throughout that film, because, like, we go back and forth, like, going inside the, the Hollywood Tower Hotel, and they even see, like, um like, a shadow, or, yeah, a shadow, and it looks like rain, like, shower pouring, and uh, Sally, like, hopping, and it's raining, it's pouring, you know, that, and that's in the, in the ride, um, and even, like, uh, um, a tray, or with wheels comes in, and they first think it's a dummy, but pops, you know, comes to life, and, like, it's a headless dummy, or something like that, with a, what the heck is that, uh, kitchen tool called, um, I don't know, but, but anyways, and that's when, of course, you know, like, even at one point, Anna, she comes face-to-face -face with, with the ghosts, you know, and they're kind of scaring her, and even Sally comes up and pops up and says, you want to help us? Something like that. And, um, yeah, and that's when, like, Buzzy and Sally, and not Sally, Al, Anna, eh, I almost said Allie, <laughs> um, they come face-to-face -face with the ghosts, you know, even, uh, like, the actress, as I explained, you know, offering to help Buzzy, like, Turns out it, you know, she is one of the ghosts, Clary, you know, even, um, even, uh, yeah, Gilbert, um, he was kind of jealous and such, you know, you thought he was cute, you know, um, yeah, those two are funny, but, um, yeah, even at one point he takes a drink, you know, a toast and, you know, spills and like, whoopsie, you know, and yet, uh, Anna confronts and saying that, you know, it was, uh, Sally's aunt that did this with, you know, with ha what happened years ago, when the tower got hit by lightning and such, but it turns out that, no, it wasn't her, and yet, you know, um, saying that, you know, I would never do anything and never hurt Sally and such, you know. Even, like, some of the characters, like, they say that, you know, she could be, like, I don't know what the word is to say, but it turns out, basically, Abigail, you know, who I mentioned, you know, because she's kind of, like, the villain in this, kinda, you know, and we find out more about why she did that, etc., and, of course, we come to Jill because she goes to, uh, um, uh, I don't know what it is, but where, where Abigail was, you know, and, like, find, you know, she find you know, opens the trunk and finds a little secret place and, like, some, like, creepy stuff or something and basically what she did, you know, on that, you know, on that evening. So, um, and so, you know, um, that's when, you know, Jill, like, realizes, you know, because Buzzy was say was come was did have something and like was telling the truth about something you know and like buzzy you know because he's excited and such but he promises anna that he would that he'll be there right after he finishes his story etc you know and little little uh little like because anna doesn't take it very well so you know and even with q like at one point he was like you know i'm not going in there without him and you know because well it's buzzy you know and like he was um he was, he felt protective with Buzzy, but of course, Anna was convincing Q to go in and such, and, um, that's when, of course, Q and his grand, and his grandfather, Dewey, they get, they finally get to meet, and I forget what Q says, but Dewey asks him why he never came into the hotel, you know, and even Abigail, she sneaks into the hotel with, with the, with the spell book or something, you know, and, uh, Buzzy and Jill, like, you know, 
I forget what ha I forget how it goes, but you know they they make their way back to the hotel, and that's when like Anna finds out because of Abigail that she was the one, and yet she has to go and she goes in she goes into the elevator to to warn them, but it closes in on her, and even right as Buzzy and Jill can't get there, and even Sally she got out of the uh, the elevator, so you know. So it's Buzzy, Jill, Q, and Sally, you know, they're the only ones that are not in the elevator, well, mostly Sally, and they all confront Abigail and such, and Abigail explains, because no one cared about her, about her, like her birth or anything, it was all Sally, everyone, everyone just loved Sally, and just, you know, but Sally was the only one that did, of course she did love her, because I think, yeah, was Abigail, Abigail was her sister, right? Yeah, and, uh, like, Sally, of course, loved her sister very much, and even you know, knew about her birthday and such, you know, didn't forget, and, um, yeah, and that's when, because, you know, Abigail had already done the curse, and it was happened, there was no way to break the curse, and, of course, they make their way into a, the service elevator, and, of course, you know, they get Anna out of there, and then when the clock strikes, they go down such, and that's when the one thing that, that, that stopped everything was when Sally forgave Abigail, you know, and that's when, of course, the elevator, everything's okay. They make their way up. They make their way up to the main, the uh, the uh, room eleven or f floor eleventh floor, the eleventh floor or something. I forget, but I think it's eleven. I'm pretty sure eleven, twelve, thirteen. I can't remember. And of course, they finally make their way to the party, and the others they join. And Clary has a song number, and you know, even at one point, Q he gets to see his his granddad, you know, great grand dude, you know, and, um, Sally, she gets to see, she, she's reunited with her parents, and even, uh, Gilbert, he finally gets to propose to Clary, and so, you know, happy ending for all of them, Ev all the ghosts disappear, and of course, you know, parties, you know, the party, uh, party over and such, and, you know, they're, you know, Buzzy picks up a flower, basically, and, like, Buzzy, like, you know, I guess I never got to do my story, or however he said, and, like, Jill, like, you know, she says something, and then he kisses him, so, you know, um, I guess she finally falls in love with him, I guess, but, you know, and then we see young, young Abigail appears again, one more time, one more time seeing Sally and Abigail, and that's when, uh, the epilogue, the hotel, back in business, and Q in charge, etc., yep, and they make the, them, and him, Jill, Buzzy, Anna and her mom, like, they make the front, the front paper and such, and boom, the movie ends, the credits roll. Yeah, The Tower of Terror, I think, is really good. I enjoy it. I mean, what about you guys? Have you seen it before? What do you think of it? And I wish this would be on Disney+. Plus. Come on, Disney, put this out on Disney+. Plus. I mean, you've done, did you do that? I mean, has there been anything, like, from what you did of Disney or such, like, you know, that have been on Disney+, Plus? it's, Please put this on here. That'd be awesome. This would be great to be to be on there. So, I don't know. We'll wait and see. Maybe a good time for Halloween. Who knows? You know. But anyway, so with that being said, you guys let me know what you think of the Tower of Terror. For me, oh, I give it 8 out of 10 stars. At least that's good for me. So, you know, eight, there we go. Eight fingers. <laughs> 8 out of 10 stars for the Tower of Terror. I love it. It's fantastic. And just, it's it's great, you know. But anyway, so with that being said, again, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Tower of Terror. More new review videos coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward and continuing on with the Halloween movie review, you know. Uh, again, shout out to Abby Miller. Thank you for the for this, for this the idea for calling this because I, I think it works, you know. Thank you. I appreciate that. Good friend, you know, of you. So, <laughs> you know. Anyway, so again, I hope you enjoyed my review and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review video. Take care. And peace out.